Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm about to embark on a series of videos which will show how I make Japanese shoji screens. And for those of you who don't know what a shoji screen is, I'm actually standing in front of two sliding shoji screen doors which cover an opening of approximately 1.8 meters. Uh, the different elements of the main element of a Japanese shoji screen is the lattice work which is called Kamiko by the Japanese uh, and but the actual shojis can be used in many many ways in many items and I'll just show you a few of the ones a few of the ways that I've used it in things that I've made. Now here you see two lamps. Obviously the smaller one is a table lamp and the larger one floor lamp. In these items the Kamiko is what would be regarded as a modern design or modern designs. Uh, the Kamiko on the screens behind are the traditional square or rectangular uh, designs. I'll now open these screens which actually separate this room from the room behind and that is where, where Japanese shoji screens were traditionally used in Japan. But they can be used in many places in Western homes, particularly in, uh, for cupboard doors, for wardrobe doors and you can even use them. I've used them in the past to make doors for, for cabinets and even for the sides of the cabinets. I'll open these up now and show you another way that I've used the Japanese shoji screen. Uh, I believe it's unique because I've not seen it in any other, in any books or in any uh, photographs. So. I made the bed you see so that I could incorporate a Japanese shoji bed head. I'll turn the, the light on, which is behind, there are LED lights behind the screen, which provide excellent lighting when you're reading in bed. You will find though that the, the brightness of the light will prevent you from seeing the actual Kamiko when they're switched on because there is too much brightness, background light, background light for the, the camera. In the video of this series, I'll be showing all the different techniques that I use to make Japanese shoji screens. And there are many jigs and uh, many machines which I'll use, and I'll go into some detail as to how I, how I make them. They're made as much as possible the way that they are made in Japan, although I have deviated somewhat because i found more efficient ways to make them than doing them entirely with hand tools. Uh, but I hope you find the whole series interesting and informative. And thank you for watching.